Hello, today I am going to make a very pretty bicone bead bracelet and these beads are 8mm and actually made of acrylic but they sparkle lovely. So those are 8mm, these are 4mm, we've got some crimp beads, some crimp bead covers but they're clots. And we've got some 5mm silver plated jump rings, lobster clasps, I'm not sure which size clasp I'm going to use yet. Um, and also I may use these, we'll see as we go along. So first of all I'm going to measure, we're going to measure 12 inches of elastic thread. Now I am using 0.8 millimetres. First of all, we are going to thread a tiny hole on those. Let me show you close up what they are like. First we attach the crimp bead cover. We are then going to attach the crimp bead. There. Then I am going to close the end. So, then take the crimp bead cover over the top and then we're then going to close that. But just you move the excess out of the way. I always tuck it like that and then close. There we are. And then using my cutters, I'm just going to cut the end of that off. And then what I'm going to do is take a jump ring. I wasn't sure whether to use a large lobster clasp or this one, but I'm just going to use the smaller one. that through the hole. Take the lobster clasp, pop that on and then we close. This is what we have. So I'm just going to go ahead and thread my beads. If I didn't say already this is an extension chain and I've added an eight millimeter bicone bead to the end and then I have I've made a small loop with a head pin um, I'll link how to make head pins loops on head pins here for you if you're not sure how to do that so I just go ahead and start threading the bracelet so I'm gonna start by these I'm gonna put two of these first these are four millimetres if I haven't already said but they've got a lovely colour to them then we add the eight millimetre bicone bead Another two of the four millimetres. OK. 
Okay, so we've got two small, one large, two small, one large, two small, one large, and we just carry on like that. I do have supplies available on the website, which is www.lowcostcraftsupplies.co.uk And there's all sorts of different beads. I also have Etsy. The, my website is a lot cheaper due to the Etsy fees I have to add on so definitely use the website if you can and the website is handmade jewellery craft and jewellery supplies all handmade jewellery is free postage to the UK hope you're all having a good day today Let me know in the comments below what you're making or trying to make. I love to see what you're all working on. If you like this video please like and consider subscribing to the channel i have lots of tutorials available So this is what it looks like. I'm just going to move these. Now I'm actually going to use one of these large rings on the end. It just makes it easier for doing that. So what we do is I'm just going to give this a little bit of a stretch. Just like last time, I'm going to thread this through. But I need to add a crimp bead as well. Okay. And then what we're going to do, we are going to squeeze the crimp bead. Can you see? There's the crimp bead. There's the collot crimp bead cover, whatever you call them. Just going to give that a squeeze. to cut off the excess elastic there we go and then with the pliers I'm going to put together squeeze together to close there we are then I'm actually going to take 
the split ring and put that on here just because it's more secure. Now this is a tool for opening split rings and split rings are like a double jump ring but it's just that they're more secure and stronger. And if you do catch your bracelet on something, you're likely to not lose for it to break and lose your beads. So I'm just going to thread this over the end a little bit closer. Let's open it up a bit closer. There we go. Can you see? There we go. And then I'm just going to move it around. I'm actually having this bracelet for myself. Hence why I want this easier to do up. And I was going to put the larger lobster clasp. Then we have an extension chain with the bead on the end. And I'm just going to add also on here. Could have put it on before. Take them off, take these again, open them up. There we go. I'm just going to add on the end a chain. Make sure I get the very last loop. There we go. And then take that round also. So there we have our cloth crimp bead cover onto a split ring with the extension chain and the bead at the end. Just put it on so you can see. So there we have doesn't it sparkle? Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.